you guys doing amazing we just got to Tema. we were waiting for jasmine jasmine is on welcoming how excited are you guys <laughs> we're meeting one of the most creative creators in Tema, guys i can't wait like jasmine did one of the best videos like a day in life how my two dollars can get you you know real estate videos moving from australia to ghana how to live in ghana living like what a girl can do when in ghana like all oh, those amazing videos but today we're going to catch that like inside of her life like a day in life with jasmine Amma. You can see it right, guys. We're going to dive in straight, so stay tuned. I post this on YouTube. Hello. No, I haven't. Guys, <laughs> well, you see it first from here. Silver, uh, black is here, right in the office. Amazing. Look, can you believe I'm right here? Jasmine, oh my, oh my god. Guys, uh, what uh, we do now, I uh, finish uh, meeting. Uh, beautiful Jasmine Amma uh, from my office. So what she's going to do is we're going to do a bit of driving five minutes. Uh, I'm going to ask some tough questions. You guys want to know like what it's been like moving to Ghana, like healthcare, insurance, buying a house, finding a place to stay in Ghana. So let let's go, let's go explore Ghana and let's see. Let me if she can answer all these tough questions. Let's get out. All right, so guys, uh, we're currently driving around uh, Community 11, Tema. Uh, it's one of the affluent places in uh, Tema. Um, most of the people prefer to live here because the sewage system in Community 11 is amazing. Um, you can doubt me, but uh, most of the rainy season, I haven't seen like Tema flooded, like how a crowd do flooded. Like one of, one of the most, I would say probably the most expensive place to live is probably around here like me we from Tema I won't choose to live in East Lagos because what we have in Tema is amazing like our former president used to live here most of the ministers still live in Tema so I'm um, with uh, Jasmine Ama I'm going to ask her so I'm like how to find a place to live in Ghana so Jasmine yeah. how is like you've been you've moved here like three years what is it like? I love I love living here. I love living here. I think Ghana is great. Um, it has its ups and downs, but then there's a lot of like pros to living here. So what was the first of month like? Okay. So there was a lot of adapting, you know. I think everything works a little bit differently in Ghana. It's not the same as the worst. Processes are not as smooth. Yeah. It's not like you go from A, you go to B and then you go to C. A lot of the time like you go to A, you go to Z and then come back to B and you know it's very different to what I was used to. Yeah. Um so I had to adapt. Like I had made up my mind that I wanted to live here. So it was no matter what happened, I was willing to do whatever it takes to stay here. So um I enjoyed the fact that I had access to my extended family. Yeah. So that side was really fun. I really loved it. It made um, settling in a little bit easier than it would have been otherwise. Uh, another thing I loved was having access to food that I actually like. Okay, what's <laughs> I, that? Well, having access to banku, <laughs> cocoa and beans, like all those things. Like wow. I used to eat bananas, fried bananas when I lived in Sydney. Like what the hell? You know? <laughs> so I was very happy to have access to those type of things. Um, so aside that, um, I'd say challenges in terms of live, uh, where to live, I bought a home two years before I moved to Ghana. Oh wow, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So I already had a house before I moved. Okay. So even though I stayed at my, my grandma lives here. I stayed in her house temporarily for like, um, I think about two months or so. Yeah. And then I prepared my own home and then I moved there. Yeah. Um, so that part was fairly easy because I already had a house. I didn't really have to do anything. So you don't I have just, to do Yeah, I just moved in. Um, but then the thing with the newer areas where you can buy homes is a lot of the roads are not the best so um, that can make it very challenging to live in those places as well because when the roads are bad when it rains it's such a big thing you know having to drive through that to get home 
as soon as you're out and it starts raining, you start getting nervous because you're like, hey, how am I gonna get home? You know? <laughs> wow. So yeah, so that was a little bit difficult. I struggled with that for a while because it made I was always tired, like and I worked a lot. I still do, I still work a lot, but <laughs> because I live in a better area now, mm, yeah. it's easier for me to get from point A to point B and um, yeah, so, yeah, you know. So I've rented that space out and I'm living somewhere else. So. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was very very interesting, and the good thing is, like, she got a house before she moved here. But was it easy to get the house while you were abroad? Like, did your family help because you know somebody here? Was it easy because you know a family member here? Was it so, easy to buy? It? So the time I think what made it easy to buy wasn't because I had family. Yeah. It was because the time that I bought it. There wasn't this big Ghana wasn't popular. Like yeah. everybody wasn't talking about Ghana. Like I want to move to Ghana. Yeah. Like it wasn't really a thing at that time. Yeah. It was still around the time where it was just parents back overseas that were trying to buy homes. You know how parents overseas mm. try to buy property in Ghana and stuff. Wow. Um, it was around that time, so that made it a little bit easy because then the prices weren't as high and the competition wasn't as much because there hadn't been the whole year of return initiative and all that so wow. nobody really knew about like buying, buying homes pro, and yeah. things exactly so that was the first thing that made it easier the second thing was i had a friend who really really helped me out like he literally drove me to every property that <laughs> i had seen um you know that i was interested in to go and find out who sells it how much he was selling it for and all that um so that really helped and he had he because he lived here he knew a few people that were trying to sell their homes oh and okay so that really made a big difference so it made it easy to go around and um, find something so it wasn't i took one holiday to ghana i think i was here for six weeks and within that six wow. weeks i found something six weeks yeah found, wow. it, found something in six weeks that's a it. long time yeah yeah because that time i think i was still i had just finished uni yeah so i wasn't you know, i wasn't yeah like i think i had just finished uni i was about to start working so my little break before i started working that was what i used to come here and do i think that was what it was that's why i had that much time wow um, to be here yeah well guys uh, that was very very interesting like you knew like how hard or easy to buy a house like if you bought your house before like afro feature december in ghana you know you are one of the lucky ones because now it's not easy like ghana when you search ghana it's like it's like ridiculous like ghana is so expensive right now like you see houses start towards 10 million i did a video last time i think your former president's brother on a property in i think Ada. Okay. Like we're on the boat. I was looking at the house. So look, this is the house you see in Miami, like owned by celebrities. Right. I was like, this house is like five million dollars. Mm -hmm. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. Well, guys, at the moment we just driving around uh, Tema. You know, these are the roads. They still look like uh, proper roads. You know, just in case if you don't know. Yeah. There. Yeah. A few bumps like you see in Europe, Australia. You're everywhere in the UK. So yeah, uh, there's a lot of church signboards. It's okay because Ghana is a Christian country. So I think we're driving around community this five. Is, this, is, this is community one, I think. Yeah? Yes, and okay. then this is community five. Okay. So this road kind of divides Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's community one sign yes, yes. Thank you for that. That's okay. Guys, okay, so we're driving around there, community two at the moment. It's, uh, it's quite um, a nice uh, community. There's a popular radio station here. It's not Adam. Adam, Adam is on the other side. Adam, uh, uh, yeah, Adam FM. Yeah. And this community linked to Community 3 where there's Sakumono Beach and uh, Titanic Beach, which we're planning to get there to show you guys how beautiful Ghana Beach is. You know, like the crashing waves of the sea and the smell of the sea. Yeah, and we're from a house that could be worth 100,000 here to 500,000 in Sakumona Estate and stuff. So, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to ask Jasmine about healthcare in a bit, so stay tuned. Wow, well, guys, as I'm here, I just bought uh, one of the favorite joints, um, David, my friend at the back, took us to Agba Mami. 
and they just feel like maybe we need to stop there maybe later today to have some good food food because it's lunch time right now it's too busy to be hot to be spicy in there so i want to ask uh, uh, just me so if somebody who haven't been to ghana before but have like two weeks to explore ghana where are the top five places or top five regions that you recommend like your recommendation i think it depends on what the person likes yeah so if they want party party stuff yeah. they need clubs and bars then it has to be osu because osu has everything you know um, and everything is like not far from each other as well so if you want to just come and party and do the whole dirty December thing yeah. then Osu is the place okay. but if you want to see like nice beaches and if you want the chill yeah. chill chill relaxing sitting by the beach having a cocktail type of vibe yeah. then two regions western region and Volta region Oh really? Why? Yes. Why the beach regions? The, those two places have the best, most beautiful beaches you will ever see in Ghana. Very clean, white sands. The the waves are very rough though, so you may not be able to swim, but just like it's beautiful, like very very nice beaches. I was in the Volta region not long ago. I stayed, really? Yeah, I stayed in a place called Meet Me There, and oh my goodness. Oh, oh guys. Really meet me there. Yeah. See guys, if you watch one of my old videos, I think I was paddling the boat on there. I was just having like for like fooling. Yeah. Wow, you've been to meet me there. I have. I loved it. it wow. So beautiful. What What do you think of the place? Like I loved it. I loved everything about it. Ten out of ten. I really. I ha I don't have any complaints at all. Do you like the echo thing? I love the echo friendly. Um, thing that they're doing where uh, they use the composting toilet yeah. and they use solar panels and it's great it's a great initiative and they're doing a lot for the community as well because I was told they've built like a number of uh, composting toilets for people within the community as well and obviously they're giving jobs to the locals yeah. and, you know so it's, it's great I really liked it I had a, the best time there um, I know why it's always booked out it's always booked out that, booked really? Out. yeah 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 Wow, yeah. were you able to do the the echo thing, like able to do the picking then? The composting yeah. toilet? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I didn't have any issues with that at all. Wow. Yeah. I think the last time we went there, they had uh, these uh, incentives, like where they get the guests to go to the beach, mm -hmm. pick like plastics. Oh, Then okay. when you bring the plastics, like they give you like some vouchers or something. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't, they didn't do that when I was Oh, there. okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, guys, uh, we're currently at the Sakumono Beach. Uh, this is Community 3. Well, I can see a lot of containers probably. Ghana government need more land. Wow. So, what about Western Region? Like, I haven't, I can't remember the last time I've been to Western Region. Yeah. The, the only place I've been to Western Region, Jitadi, but that was when we were kid. Yeah. 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 So, I've seen so many beautiful, mm. like, white sand. I think I've seen a video from you from there. Yeah, I, I think went you were to doing it. like a birthday weekend. Is it birthday weekend or, or oh, a weekend? Oh, that was in Lemon Beach. That wasn't in That was Cape Coast, I think. Oh, is it really? Yeah, that's Cape Coast. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, Cape Coast and Western Region is like Greater Accra and uh, Volta Region. Yeah, they're not. They're they they not just nest each other. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Well, guys, if you haven't watched that video, check it out because it's amazing. Like the beach, the crashing waves when you were walking. The sound of the waves, it was mad. Yeah. Right, so guys, we're here at uh, Sakumono Beach. Uh, this is our beautiful Sakumono Beach. Can you see the waves? Can you see the beach? Unfortunately, we have a, a truck in front of us. But the boats ride crossing the river. I think they have some good food. They do. Their food is oh amazing. Oh my god, I think I had a. Uh, so is, uh, is it catfish and. Banku. Banku, oh yeah. my god yeah, they have very good it was crazy yeah, i was surprised like the quality mm. of the food yeah, yeah yeah absolutely love it. since you mentioned that like we were in Volta region i think i haven't posted this video yet there's another place next to where um jasmine just mentioned uh it's chill river is it chill beach river have you heard of it no guys uh, i'm going to publish the video it's like this resort is by the water where 
it's, I don't know how to explain it, but you have to see where it's, it's literally by Anyani where we did a boat ride and, ch and meet me there is just on the same road as well. So guys, check, uh, look forward for Jasmine's uh, video because she's just been there. And I don't know when the video will be out, but she just told me on this video. So yeah, so yeah, check the video out on Jasmine. And while you're watching the video, consider uh, liking uh, Jasmine's uh, channel, like watch the videos, share the videos, share on Facebook, share with your friend, somebody who might be visiting Ghana, but not sure. Ask them to check Jasmine's channel because it's amazing. Real estate, real life, market, people's life you get. It's like a combo, you have mm -hmm. everything there. Well guys, we are in uh, Sakumono Beach, so we'll show you guys our gorgeous beach and where you can sit and just listen to the waves. Stay tuned. Guys, we just finished at the, the Titanic City at the, I think it's in Sakumono Beach, right? Yes. Guys, the view is impressive. Take a moment to enjoy the sound of Ghana Beach. Let's go. We had some chill time uh, at the Titanic City. Um, we had like some personal chats, like learning as a creative, like uh, Jasmine taught me some few stuff, like how to shoot and and also how to deal with like nasty comments. And <laughs> it's not easy, like a lot of creators deal with nasty comments. I can imagine like Woody Maya as a, a one point something, 1.3 million. Uh, subscribers, I can imagine the amount of nasty comment he deals with every day. Like, yeah. So, guys, while you're watching the video, whatever you type, be very, very mindful to before you type it, because somebody's watching. Somebody, somebody is watching. Your comment could be very meaningful to someone. At the same time, it could cause someone a mental problem. So, be very, very, very mindful. Well, we just out of our beach. Very beautiful beach. Yeah, if you've been to Sakumono Beach before or you live around here, please let us know. What's the best thing about this place? Let us know. Because we want to promote this place. We want people to visit this place more. Uh, something I forgot to uh, share with you guys, like as I was there, uh, I have to rush to the washroom. There's a washroom here. It's amazing, like it's very clean. Like I couldn't show you a video, but very, very, very clean. You can get that from me. Right? Next stop. I will be asking uh, Jasmine about healthcare, like how to get the best healthcare in Ghana. So stay tuned. I just, I just want to find like what Jasmine does when she's not creating all this amazing content that you watch on a daily basis, like when you bought at home weekends and you don't know what to watch. I want to ask her, what does she do when she's not creating this amazing content? What do you do, Jasmine? Um, so it, 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 it varies. So uh, recently I took up tennis. So every now and again I go and play tennis. I'm still learning. So that I think I watched that video. Yeah, so I <laughs> do that funny. sometimes. And then I also 
spend time with my friends sometimes you know we might go to a bar or a restaurant or something to you know just eat chill chat that type of thing um, I don't really go clubbing so maybe like a nice bar at night time that we would do um, and sometimes I read a little bit as well too so sometimes if I'm home and I don't go anywhere I might read a book or yeah something along those lines Wow what yeah. do you read uh, what, what are you reading now Currently, I'm reading a book called, uh, I'll let you know yeah. what it's called. I bought it recently when I went to London. It's oh, actually, wow. Yeah, it's a good book. Yeah. What is it like? What's the story? It's about, it's not a story. So, it's about um, how the brain works and how, um, not like scientific, you know, there's aspects to the brain that's not necessarily scientific. And it talks about how like, different drugs can give you a completely different perception wow. yeah it's it's very scientific but it's interesting so yeah wow yeah well guys <laughs> i don't read that much i prefer reading on my phone like read like 20 minutes that's it like find information that i want but if you're a reader please do let me know like what you're reading is it are you reading the same book as i just made please do let me know if there's any recommendation Please do let us know in the comment section. You guys know I live in the UK, like we have a free healthcare. But in Ghana, it's a very, very tricky question. Jasmine moved here like three years ago, and I want to ask Jasmine about what if somebody is visiting or moving, how easy or how to get healthcare insurance? How is it or how to get it? So with healthcare, there's different options. So the government does offer the NHIS, but then it's, it doesn't really cover that much. You know what I mean? If you come from the West, a lot of the time, you probably want more than the NHIS can cover. So you definitely, I think it's not that complicated. It just, in Ghana, a lot of the answers to your questions or the things that you're worried about is money literally once you can afford it you can get a good private health insurance and that will cover a lot of your expenses so once you have private health insurance a lot of your things like med uh, different medications different whatever ailments you may be presenting with will um will come under that so just do your research so long as you can pay for it it's not that hard a lot of the private health insurance stuff is online so if you just google ghana private health insurance you might find a few you can talk to a few see what fits what your needs are and then you're good to go but you can't rely on the government one that one is basically it doesn't really offer that much well guys thank you jasmine That's uh okay. well well you heard it from uh jasmine and well if you're already here or you're moving let us know your experience if you've been with the Ghana one or the government one what do you think the private ones can you let us know in the comment section go to jasmine's video um, let us know what you think because we we'll put some questions on our community tab. Yeah. Just let us know what you think, what's your experience like. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, uh, Jasmine. It's That's been okay. a, it's been amazing creating content for you. Yeah, like we're from Tema, and oh, thank you. Yeah. Like it's not easy to collaborate with, like big creators. It's mm -hmm. it's hard. I've been messaging like Jasmine <laughs> like know. years. I don't know why. So I know. so when I was in Ghana and she said yes. <laughs> I said no I need to leave the village leave whatever I was doing come here and make this time so guys uh, as you've been watching thank you so much Jasmine it's been amazing creating content That's with you so today but I want to ask you at the end of your video every video there's this code this amazing code that you always use follow your bliss what's the secret behind it there's no secret it literally just came to me I just woke up one day and I was like this is going to be the end of my videos and I just started using it and it means I feel like it's meaningful, so it made sense for me to continue using it. So. And do you mind to <laughs> use it here again? Like okay, don't forget to follow your bliss. Now life is short. Follow your bliss. Now you pay a day. Follow your bliss. Now the best and follow your bliss. Now then See, once you say you pay a day, like follow your bliss. Like human being is nothing. It is like crazy, crazy quotes. Like, like what she's saying is, mm -hmm. like. You know, like we all, <laughs> we all yeah, die. yeah, <laughs> amazing uh, guys. That's follow your bliss. <laughs> bam, though, bam, got a friendship, bam.